And first here tonight at 10, guilty. That is the verdict a Montgomery County jury reached just hours ago. They convicted Anthony Stargell of aggravated murder in the shooting death of Tom Nichols at his Dayton business in 2012. Now, Stargell claimed he acted in self-defense, but prosecutors and the jurors disagreed. Brooke Moore live outside the courthouse with our top story at 10. Tonight, Stargell is spending the night in the Montgomery County Jail without bond, but for most of the evening, he was here inside a Montgomery County courtroom where a jury found him guilty on all counts. Having found the defendant, Anthony L. Stargell Jr., guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of aggravated murder. Throughout the trial, Stargell has admitted he's the person seen in surveillance video shooting and killing 54-year-old Tommy Nichols and his dog, though he claimed he was acting in self-defense, stating that he and Nichols were selling drugs together and that there was an argument over money. He also admitted to running, then coming back to destroy evidence by setting the business on fire. I talked to Stargell's godfather outside the courthouse tonight. He says Stargell didn't want to be labeled a murderer, but even he was disturbed by some of the evidence evidence he saw. It's been very, very stressful, very hurtful, you know. Portions of it caught me by surprise and things that I never thought that he would do, you know. I saw the actuality of it. I understand that he felt threatened, you know. Everything else he done after the shooting was, was just ridiculous and, and out of control. Nichols' family also inside the courtroom tonight. They did not want to comment on the verdict. The judge also reminded the jury they're not finished and not allowed to discuss this case. They will now enter phase two, which is where they will decide if he is going to face a life in prison or a death sentence. That we resumes on Monday morning here at 830. We'll be following that story and we'll bring you the very latest. Reporting live in Dayton, I'm Brooke Moore. Two News working for you.